friends welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who has taken the time to see all the videos that i have uploaded i share useful content about life in canada immigrating to canada and everything useful so um i actually asked a question on the canada info hub ig page um concerning immigrating to canada and anybody who is confused about immigrating they can ask their questions and few people um, actually asked some questions which I will be responding to today and uh, so it's more like a frequently asked question um, session or video for today and one of the questions that was asked is about the skyrocketing comprehensive ranking score which is making people afraid and not knowing if their CRS scores will ever be eligible for an invitation to apply from the federal government of Canada and how can one improve the scores so i'll be showing you on the government of canada website a comprehensive ranking system tool that calculates your scores so you have an idea of what the scores looks like and what you should do to improve your scores so if you have a master's degree and you are above 30 years you've already created your express entry profile and you find that your score is about 350 and you're thinking of what else you should do maybe your language scores still needs improvement or maybe you have to start learning french and if you are able to add those two factors together it could improve your scores and if you are let's say below 30 years and you don't have a master's degree your scores are not high enough you should also consider getting an additional qualification and there are some programs that you can actually do that you can get within one year that should add to your qualifications although it might not be a master's degree if you have the funds you can go ahead and do a one year master's degree maybe from any of the universities in the uk or an online university that is accepted by the government of canada but if you don't have the funds you can actually do a program that is for eight months and then evaluate it to get that extra point for people who have a higher national diploma because they have an ond and a hnd they can actually have more points than people who just have only a bachelor's degree so you might need to look at your educational qualifications if your educational qualifications is just a bachelor's degree and you are above 30 years it means you need to get a master's degree or an additional educational qualification to increase your points if your language scores are low you need to write the ielts again and get the highest um, scores if it's possible get nine on all factors nine in reading listening speaking and writing get nine on all of them if you get a six or 6.5 you cannot go anywhere express entry is very very competitive so you need to find a way of making yourself be amongst the top people if you've done all that and your score is still low then you can also consider um starting to learn french and i know that in the university of lagos they have a french diploma program that i think people can also take advantage of it to get an additional educational qualification especially for those who do not have a master's or a postgraduate you can get that as an additional qualification while you're learning French and preparing yourself for the TEF exam. Um, you know, just learn the French and then write the exam and it could help boost your scores. Consider learning French because it is very good. You have an advantage in some provinces when you learn French. This is the comprehensive ranking system tool created by the government of Canada to help people calculate their scores um potentially to see what their scores would look like when they finally create an express entry profile and i'm going to use an example so let's say the applicant is 35 years old or okay let me use the example the applicant is 39 years old the applicant has a master's degree and the applicant's spouse also has a master's degree i'm going to use all the highest scores for IELTS and also use the highest scores for uh, the TEF exam which is the French exam and let's see what the scores will be like in the express entry pool.
I'm choosing 39 years because I want people to see how they can improve their scores. I'm also choosing the French language exam. So for people who do not have work experience, the person will lose points. It means you have to work for one year or two years or three years. When you start getting points is when you have at least three years work experience. One year work experience, you might not get enough points, but you might get points if you have a master's degree and you also have the highest band scores in IELTS or the TCF or TAF. So I'm choosing three years or more. So once you click calculate your score it will take you to the points that this applicant will have for the applicant alone for age the applicant is getting 50 points because the applicant is 39 years old and once you clock 30 you start losing five points on your age for level of education 126 official languages maxed out um first official language 128 second official language 22 points and then the applicant has 326 points but with the factor of the spouse you can see that the applicant has 30 points from the spouse and then for transferability um the applicant is getting 100 and if you look at the total scores the applicant will get based on all the factors is 486 that means a 39 years old applicant with a master's degree and has the highest band scores in ielts has the highest band scores in the french exam will get 486 points to be eligible to get an invitation to apply whenever they do a draw the applicant's spouse points also adds to this as well and this is where you can come to simulate your situation simulate your case and see if your scores will be high enough for the draws the draw point has been increasing for the past few months and um, it's going to continue increasing so you just need to come to this web page to simulate your points and see where you need improvement on if you have just a bachelor's degree like i've mentioned before your points will be very low so it is best to get an additional educational qualification if i go back to the information provided and i change the information 
on this point let's say the applicant just has two or more certificates and not a master's degree and then i click calculate automatically the scores goes to 479 because the applicant has the points for the french language ability and also has the points for the english language ability if i change the factor again the applicant is still 39 years old and let's say the applicant has only a bachelor's degree but the spouse has a master's degree or i can still change the details for the spouse and indicate that the spouse has just a bachelor's degree as well but both of them have the highest band scores in ielts and also the principal applicant um, has the highest scores in french if you click calculate your scores and scroll down you can see that the points has reduced to 445 so this automatically shows an applicant what he or she should do to improve his or her scores so from the simulation you've been able to see that it is possible for a 39 years old applicant who has a master's degree and the spouse also has a master's degree as long as the principal applicant is able to max out the language scores on english and french the person can actually immigrate to canada using the express entry pool without the need for searching for um, a provincial nomination and um, any other um, option of immigrating like a job offer or something it's possible for people who are 39 years and 40 years old with master's degree um, for people who are both 40 years old it will not be possible to immigrate through the express entry stream you may have to start looking for the provincial nomination option which i'll be talking about in a separate video because i don't want this video to be too long then secondly for people who want to actually increase their points by getting an additional educational qualification there is a program called bcs which is the british computer society if you go to their website you will find that there is a service provider in nigeria that provides training it's an it training um, that you can actually do to get additional points and it's less than 200,000 uh, naira or it's about 200 pounds 210 pounds or thereabout to write the exam if you are aiming to just get one more additional certificate in addition to your bachelor's degree another point i also like to mention here is for people who already have this and still do not have enough points there are situations where the principal applicant might be the one to immigrate alone and remove the spouse so that his scores can go up in so in that situation it is best to remove the spouse and uh, let only the principal applicant get enough points to get a draw and then when the principal applicant lands in canada the principal applicant can now um, sponsor the spouse to join him or her in canada that's another way people use to try to you know get above this um, crazy scores that is seen in the express entry pool you should simulate your scores using the crs to to see if you can remove your spouse's details and apply to come alone then your spouse can later join you but when you are applying to come alone um, you will also provide the details of your spouse your spouse will also do all the things you are going to do if you're going to do medicals police reports everything your spouse's documents will be submitted the same time you're submitting your own application even your settlement funds has to include your spouse although your spouse is non accompanying it has to include your spouse so that when you eventually land, you can easily sponsor your spouse because your spouse's detail is already with IROCC. So that's the information I want to share today. Um, I have so many other frequently asked questions which I'll be treating in subsequent videos. I'm not able to cover all of them today. I hope to cover all of them as the days go by. And um, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. I hope I have not talked too much. Have a beautiful week, people. See you in my next video. Bye.